All right, man, we back. Mercy Sports Talk, we in the building. Sounds like the Lions are going to go ahead and allow fans uh, in a limited capacity at Ford Field this season. Now, we know what's going on. It's a pandemic. A lot of people boycotting even, you know, kids going to summer school, you know, boycotting, you know, you know, going back to work and all types of stuff. But the Lions seem like they're going to go ahead to get those dividends. But let's talk about it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. And my whole thing about it is it's your prerogative. You know, it's a lot of selective outrage. You know, a lot of these people are taking their kids and taking them to the beach and taking them to public pools and, and traveling on planes where you are breathing the same air. It's been known that the mask is only 85, maybe 85 percent effective. And that's just somebody's opinion. All right. Dr. Wise. So it's a lot of people with selective outrage. You know what I'm saying? Some people don't have no problem letting their kids walk around the, the grocery store without a mask you know, go to restaurants and eat without a mask, you know, and like at the end of the day, my whole thing is it's your prerogative. If you want to go to a football game and possibly catch it, you know, you should be able to do what you want to do. It ain't like it's 500 cases and it's 500 deaths or 400 deaths or 300 deaths. You know, nobody is really afraid of the COVID, but older people. Now, am I saying it's correct for the Lions organization to allow people in, the, in 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 there knowing that they can get sick and, and putting money over you know over ethics, no, you know, in a perfect world, if people were legit scared of going outside and and going and their kids going to school, you know, if they was legitimate scare and it was a legitimate threat to them, then I would be like, man, it's some bull jive. But people are not shy in the way coming out from their house. They letting their kids go on jungle gyms and go to, you know, amusement parks, and they're going to let their kids go to school. So my whole thing about it is, you know, Gretchen Whitmere continues to be a hypocrite. Straight up and down. She continues to be a hypocrite. You know, she runs up north, and she go and do her thing up north and enjoy the amenities up here, but then tell us we got to stay locked down. If these people don't care about their health in the metro Detroit area and all the other areas, well, let them go do what they want to do. It ain't stopping y'all from... You know, letting people in Flint still have poison water. But, you know, in the stadium, you would be required required to have a mask on. And that's where it's going to get icky. At. You have, you know, the dude over there in Black Rock out there in uh, Shelby Township, no, Utica, excuse me, slapped the manager and the bartender because they told him to put his mask on. You know, so you really run the risk of people not wanting to put their mask on and yell and scream and, and getting mad and they already drunk. That's kind of my concern right there. The liquor... And then combined with people who don't want to wear a mask, you know, I work security at Ford Field, and that's going to that's gonna be the tough part. You know, you get people already don't want to wear a mask sober, and then they get liquored up, and then they say, well, I, do, I don't want to wear a mask. And then it turns into a physical altercation, so they may need to cut the beer off as well, too, you know, or cut it off at halftime. So my whole thing about it is I can't be outraged by corporate America wanting to make money and people still going out like it's a regular day, not wanting to wear masks, not taking care of themselves, where they can protect their family. I just can't get mad at corporate America no more because, you know, America ain't scared of the COVID. No matter how many cases we got of people that's died, that's deceased, that's sick, that almost died and came back, people still not taking it serious. People still not washing their hands, still not using hand sanitizer, still touching their face, not using their masks. It's your prerogative. If you want to go out there and die, die because if you in that area arena you get any, anything that's on you and the lions is doing what corporate america has always done no matter a pandemic or recession they still gonna make money they still gonna make it so you gotta have your mask on you want to enjoy a football game so be it i enjoy because i've been to so many football games only thing i haven't done is go to a michigan football game when i hopefully in my lifetime i able to knock that off my bucket list i've been to a super bowl the whole nine Hopefully, hopefully this thing is over with and hopefully we're able to move on. And hopefully I'm able to make it to a Michigan game. But, you know, Jeff Bezos made $13 billion <laughs> during the pandemic. That's crazy. So the Lions want some of that. So I'm not knocking them. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to go to a Lions game this year? If it's mass required and the pandemic is still, you know, live and prevalent. Let me know what you guys think. Appreciate the love and support. Don't forget to follow us on social media. Links in the description. One time for the one time. We gone.